God gets serious when it comes to delivering his people from, because God doesn't want any of you to be in disorder. He doesn't want you to put him in second place because he wants to be the God of more than enough in your life. So then he turned around and got them delivered out of Egypt, but Egypt wasn't delivered out of them. You know what's really bad is when God gets you out of your whorish position, when God gets you out that crack house, when God gets you out of that lying and stealing and robbing and doing all the things, and then you don't turn around and let it get out of you. But it won't come out until you say, God, I surrender all. To you I lift up my hand. And to you I glorify your name. To you be exalted. And I surrender myself unto you. That's when everything starts changing. It's about your surrenders to him. It's about where he stands in your life. And they got, came out of Egypt at the end of heaven, seeing miracle signs and Watch this here. Now they're going to go through the wilderness, and the wilderness is only, what, what? Some say seven days, some say 13, 11 days. Since I never made the journey, I don't know how many days, but it's just a short time. They stayed in the wilderness for how long? 40 years. 40 years on a one-week journey. Stayed in the wilderness. Why? Because they forgot that fast who was number one in their life. They forgot who delivered them. They forgot who brought them out of darkness into the light. They forgot the blessing that God had already done for them. God, help us. Help us not to forget where you brought us from. Come on, help you. Help us not to forget where you brought us from. We owe you everything. No, it might not be right right now. Maybe everything ain't going the way you want to, but God, you still been good to me. You still been good to me. I might not have everything I want, but God, I still got you. And if I adjust my attitude, I know you can change my situation in Jesus' name. Because come on, if it wasn't for the goodness of God, you wouldn't have nothing right now. Come on, I owe him everything. I owe him everything. And when God said, bring me the first fruit that you will recognize that I'm first in your life, it'll be a testimony of honor. It'll be a testimony of your worship. It'll be a testimony of my value in your life. Then everything starts happening for you.